wanted to uh, talk to you guys about some cabinet trends to be looking out for uh, in the next year and kind of what we've been seeing a lot of. So our, the name of our company is Home Design Center of Florida. We're a fully licensed general contractor. We have about 40 on staff employees that work for us and uh, we're a local company and so we love doing uh, work with the community. That's kind of what our purpose uh, is here today. So a little bit about who we are. We have a 2,000 square foot showroom in uh, Stewart just at the end of Canner Highway in 95. Uh, so if you guys want to come check us out, we do have uh, cabinets, flooring, uh, pretty much A to Z concept. So going into the seven um, trends to be looking for. So a lot of people, you know, when they go to do a, we're, we're dealing with a lot of researchers. So is anyone here looking to do a remodel soon, potentially? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so maybe. So you know that you are looking into options and reviews and pictures and all those kind of things. Um, one of the number one things that you're going to be going into is personalized cabinets. So back in the day, if you had a weird, you know, dimension in your kitchen, you'd end up having to go for a custom cabinet, which is significantly more expensive. And, you know, it's, it, it keeps you a little bit, um, your budget has to go more towards cabinets than maybe countertops or different things that you're going to want to be putting that money into. So it's really nice because um, we're in a place right now where most cabinet lines are offering a semi-custom um, deal. So you're able to pay at a lower price for technically a, a custom cabinet. So they're calling it semi-custom, but what's nice about them is they're all adjustable depth, width, and height. So if you have a weird angle in your kitchen or something's a little bit off, we can actually get, this. these are some of the lines that we offer at our showroom. All of these are adjustable depth, width, and height. So it gives us a ton of freedom without having to pay the extra money for custom cabinets. So that's kind of the first trend um, that we're going to be seeing with that, is people are going to be moving more into a semi-custom line. The second one that you're going to be seeing a lot of is clean lines and subtle designs. So we used to see a lot of you know, raised panel, very traditional. A lot of people are moving towards shaker style, uh, which is considered like uh, a transitional because you don't want to be limited to your cabinets. If you decide to upgrade your kitchen or do something different down the line, you kind of commit yourself, whatever your cabinets are, to whatever style you're going to be doing. So this has been extremely popular. And this is kind of an example of one right here. Very clean lines. You know, if you decide to change the paint color in the countertops, you really have a lot that you can be doing with there. Whereas in the past, um, you know, it was a lot of stained wood that um, would limit you to maybe just a traditional looking house. Whereas now you can kind of go with more transitional styles that are going to work for traditional or contemporary. So that's number three, the shaker style. So this is really funny because people will come into the showroom and they'll say, well, you know, what's the most popular? What are people looking for? And nine out of 10 people that walk into my showroom are looking for a white shaker cabinet. That's like absolutely the number one seller there. So this, uh, this uh, president here of East Hill Cabinetry, I found a quote from him. He said the same thing, 99% of the time, it's a white painted wood shaker door with a square picture and a simple recess center. And I have some people that'll come in, they're like, well, that's boring. You know, I want to do something more different or, you know, more uh, uh, traditional or whatever. But this, you know, for resale value, it's just something to consider because you can change your, cu your countertops relatively easy. You're not going to have to go through this painstaking process of ripping out your cabinets and everything else. You can update your countertops. You can change your paint. This right here has become a very, very popular style. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's your shaker. So that kind of shows you right there. It has the recessed panel on the inside. Very, um, very simple. But you know what I call it? It's like vanilla. You know, if you put any flavor with vanilla, it's going to taste good. Everybody loves vanilla, you know, but you can update it and change it and put, you know, different ingredients in there with it to make it what you want. So um, this has just been a very, very uh, popular trend. So the next thing um, that you're going to be seeing a lot of with trends in 2017 is white, gray, and neutral colors. Um, you know, a lot of homeowners are opting for this so that if they want to do window treatments or fabrics or pictures or art, they can do more bold colors with the accent pieces rather than having, you know, the staple be something that's going to be, again, it's, it's going back to that transitional place where you don't have to be limited and stuck with, 
you know, what you chose for floors or cabinets. You want to have kind of a clean canvas that if you decide to go with, you know, a bright orange or a bright turquoise, you know, you have kind of this canvas that you can just paint however you want. So this is a picture of kind of a neutral kitchen. Um, this is one of my favorite colors. I call it grayish because it's like gray and beige together, and I love that because then you can do neutrals, you can do browns, you can do taupes. Um, it opens you up to a pretty big uh, variety of, of options. The fifth one, and I was going to park on this one for a while um, because the number one thing that people ask me is they want more storage in their kitchens. You know, they they don't like their, their lazy Susan because they don't feel like they can get to the back of it. They're looking for storage for their spice racks. So I kind of have some pictures here um, of some ways to bring some more functionality to your kitchen. Um, nowadays, you know, you can ask for these accessories. It's important when you're talking to your designer that you kind of talk to them about, you know, what do you use your kitchen for? Are you, a big, are you big on cooking? Are you big on entertaining? Do you want everything to kind of be hidden? There's technology now that we can have this inside of your cabinets. You can have, you know, this is an example. We have another example here. Um, a lot of people don't want to bend down and have to go digging inside of a Lazy Susan. We have technology now that when you open the door, you're going to be able to have all that storage kind of come out to you rather than having to reach down deep into that. Another example, this is perfect. This is actually, this is only a three inch filler piece. So if you're going to have to have filler, why not use that space, you know? And, and I actually do this as well with toe kicks. You can have toe kick pull out and put storage down there as well too. So storage is really big and very important to you. You know, for me personally, um, I try to utilize as much space as possible, um, especially if you're working with a smaller kitchen. It's important to not have, you know, just a ton of filler everywhere. You want to get as much cabinet space as possible, um, which is why a lot of people also go for the frameless uh, cabinets. They don't have the frame on there, and you end up getting, I think, 8 to 10 percent more cabinet space without a frame. So you'll hear that sometimes European style. That's without a frame on there. These are things to think about when you go to do your remodel. This is another one right here. So you can kind of see those. We'll, we have a lot of pop-up features. Um, again, if you don't, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to see anything on their countertop. We even have um, in our home technology, we do some home technology as well where it can actually, you know, we cut out your granite so that your coffee will, will you press a button and it pops up from your countertop. So it's completely concealed. So a lot of people, they just, they don't want to see any of that stuff showing. So. And here's another option as well, you know, with the storage um, for pots and pans and different things. All of these are customizable. These are things that you can say, I have five of these types of pots. I have 10 of these, you know, six of these. And we'll design it based on exactly what you have to make sure everything has a home and it's not awkwardly, you know, being placed in random spots. So that's some storage options. Another popular trend um, is horizontal cabinetry. So you'll see a lot of squares vertical rectangles, that's, that's pretty much the norm. Um, but it's very popular as well with acrylic styles or some of the textured laminates, slab style doors. This is a very European look. This has become very popular as well. Um, and these are things that, you know, again, if thinking about resale value, you, if you are going to be moving out of your home, you do want to be thinking about what people are looking for because sometimes it's simple little things like this because nine out of ten people that walk into a home are, are going to want to have to change something about it. I mean, if you're moving into a house that you didn't design yourself, you're going to be instantly thinking, I'm going to change that, I'm going to change this, I'm going to change this, I'm going to change that. And they're going to be thinking, how much is it going to cost me to have to change it? So if you're working with materials that, you know, cabinets that are um, transitional and maybe now they're only having to pay to replace the countertops rather than the whole kitchen, that's going to be something that's going to probably cause them to lead, you know, lean towards uh, your house over someone else's. This is kind of going in with the high-tech cabinet options, um, built-in charging stations. You know, uh, here's an example of that. We do a lot of these. You know, you don't want to see any of the outlets so that the backsplash just goes straight up uh, to the bottom of the cabinet. Again, it just keeps the whole look very clean and seamless. You know, if you want anything where you can mount your iPad, we have certain, um, you know, accessories that are going to help with that if you're cooking or looking at, an ex uh, at a recipe. Now, <laughs> I was contemplating not putting this one up there because I was like, I'm probably going to make one friend and a bunch of enemies for putting this because this is just, I have these things in my house, so no judgment. This is a judgment-free zone, but just things that 
we're moving away from, that you're going to see a lot of people moving away from, are speckled granite. So, you know, when we're looking for options, we used to be a lot more limited in what we have available. Now we have a lot of more man-made products available, like quartz, um, some of the popular names you've probably heard before, Cambria or Pompeii. Even Cambria, it's a 93% um, you know, uh, natural stone, and 7% of it is resin and pigment. So you're still getting natural stone there, but it's more controlled. You can do more designs. You can have more veinings. There's just more available to us. So um, you're going to be seeing a lot more options with that. Plus, you know, it's not as porous. You don't have to reseal it. You know, there's, um, it's, it's all about trying to bring the maintenance down. That's the big thing. How do we spend more time enjoying our kitchen, less time cleaning it? You know, obviously you have to clean your kitchen, but how do we minimize some of that? Another one is um, short cabinets. You know, taller cabinets are going to make your small kitchen look bigger if you are limited with a smaller space. Trying to get as much storage back as you can is, is really important. Um, dark brown wood, I mean, again, there's more options. I have a cabinet company that we're a dealer for. You can pick any single color in Sherwin-Williams paint if you want to, and we can get that for you. So there's just more available. You're not limited to just, you know, the dark browns and, um, and just these traditional doors that we've always been seeing before. So um, with that to say, the one thing to remember is it's your kitchen, and if it works for you, that's really all that matters. Um, these are just trends that we're seeing that are popular, but if you like it, I mean, I've had people come in and they want pink in their kitchen cabinets. Well, guess what? If you want pink and you're going to die in that house and that's what you want, that's what you, you're going to get that. You know what I mean? So that's important to remember too. It's your kitchen. It needs to work for you. But if you are thinking potentially down the line, you know, how do I make this where if I do decide to sell, um, these are some things to be looking out for. Um, and if you have any questions as far as looking to uh, remodel, we actually do 3D renderings. So we'll show you exactly what your kitchen's going to look like. We'll take you from